Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to our Human Paladin. Fresh start, server of Maladath, Wrath of Lich King preparation, playthrough. All of that and more. Today, uh, I'm getting on in the evening here because I have a little bit of time that I'm making for myself. I had a goal today that I wanted to get to level 54. And I'm going to push a little bit to see if we can make that happen. I did turn in a couple of quests in the Burning Steps. After getting out of our epic Blackrock Depths run. And yeah, I found out that there are some other things here that I want to do. So for the sake of convenience of traveling, we're going to put a pause on to Fellwood for the evening. And we're going to do some stuff here in the Burning Steps. Uh, and apparently we're going to be dealing with uh, some zombies as well while we do that, because who doesn't want to deal with zombies? But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well this evening. Thank you for clicking on the video. I know I have been pushing out a lot of content recently. And it's probably impossible to keep up with. Who, who has the time? Uh, but I am trying to push this character to get it into Northrend, so that's kind of why the more content, more videos going up a day... It's just that I really, really want to get, uh, I want to get into Northrend with this character. I want to at least have the choice to bring her to Northrend on day one, so I want to make that happen. Hope you guys don't mind. A lot of you guys seem to want to see the Paladin go into Northrend. And I really want to play the Mage too, but right now I I'm kind of, kind of really digging the Paladin. And I like that, what I liked most recently is that even though I really enjoy tanking on the class... I also enjoyed DPS, and I didn't know if that was going to be the case. When we went into that Blackrock Depths run and I was DPSing, I did not think I was going to like it as, as much I as I did, you? but it was a lot of fun. I feel like we did okay, and I had a really good time just being a DPS class, so... Uh, let's see, we can do Extinguishing the Fire Gut. We must strike at our enemies before they strike at us. I'll make this brief, soldier. The Fire Gut Ogres of the Burning Steps are allied to the Black Rock Orcs. They work closely with those vile orcs, keeping the mineral-rich Dreadmall Rock guarded and the supply lines open at all times. Leave your mark, cripple their forces, and return to me when the job is done. Keep your feet on the ground! Uh, other ones here, 50. Yep. 50 Black Rock Medallions. Be good. We didn't do that on the Mage, but no. we can AoE pull a bit more on the Paladin. I would not mind taking on the Black Rock Orcs. And 20 Dark Iron Fanny Packs is actually a Black Rock Depths quest. I don't know if we're going to do another run of BRD. We had like the best run I could possibly imagine. I, I don't think we're going to be able to top it. There are a couple of other quests here for the dungeon. So maybe. Maybe I'll just grab them just in case. Like maybe tomorrow I'll end up getting into a run. Who knows what could happen, right? What's on your mind? We, might, we have room in our log for right now, so we might as well grab them. Uh, inventory is looking pretty good. 30 slots available. Let's get buffs up. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to bother somebody unless I, like, fix it right now. It's going to be slightly off. Let's let's use a, uh, a window from Immersion to line that bad boy back up. I think that is going to be about as good as it gets. Be good. I should probably lock these in place, huh? That's the first time I've done that where I've just dragged it accidentally across the screen. Okay, enough of that. Let's get going. <laughs> you know what quest we don't have we don't have a quest to take on any of these other guys brutaling essence we only get from the little flying drakes i think dark iron legacy huh okay a little bit weird i feel like last time we had a quest to go after one of the one of the dragons that used to be an elite
Apparently these wargs can drop medallions. I, I don't really know why they would have one, but I'm not going to argue with it. Yeah, I could have swore on the human mage we got a quest to take on one of the one of the drakes. I wonder why we don't have that this time. There are actually multiple areas here where we can go inside the Barrow Den. And maybe we'll want to do that. I think last time it was mages we had a problem with because yeah, we need, we need 15 mages. So we need more mages than anything else. Somebody must have just killed their leader. Uh, when their leader gets killed, I think that's when these guys all kind of go crazy. Which works out for us okay. We do have zombies and undead over here that are level skull, so 10 levels above us or more. It's funny, I, I ran through Elwyn Forest to get the flight point in Red Ridge earlier, and there was a zombie event much like this, but they were actually at the level that one might be at when in those zones, so I'm not sure why it's not like that everywhere. Like, if those guys were level 50, we could potentially go deal with them and actually interact with the event. I don't know why we've seen them at level Skull in both the Blasted Lands and now here in the Searing Gorge. It's a little bit weird. I really wish they'd adjust that so that people questing in the zones that they're in could actually contend with them. Be a lot more interesting and, uh, and a lot less annoying when they just kill you. Uh, we could probably pull all three of these guys as long as we don't keep the undead dudes, which I think they have leashed by now. Yes, they have. Revenant Shoulders of the Bear, 11 Strength, 10 Stamina. Seems like something to put up on the Auction House. Ours are better, currently. Let's go up to the top of the little mountain here.
Well, that's a pretty nice view. So this one doesn't go anywhere. Uh, there's another one somewhere. Uh, should we mess with this? Probably not. The remains are covered in flies and maggots. That's disgusting, but thank you for not showing that visually, just for like showing it in text. Much appreciated. Yeah, we seem to be having a very similar mage shortage. Plenty of other guys. We do still need a few brutes. I'd love to use Hammer of Rathmore, but we're killing them so quickly that I don't even get it off. It's a sad state of affairs, but uh, that's the truth. That's how it is. Uh, this maybe goes a little bit deeper? Yes, we must go deeper. Simultaneous ogre slaughter? I'll take it. Well, that's not actually a very deep cave now, is it? I was kind of expecting there to be more to it. But it really doesn't seem like there is. There's an upper area. Somewhere. Hello there.
And yes, at this point, I, I do realize that all I need are mages. We're just fighting everything because it's a joy to fight things on the Paladin. It's truly fun. Every rotation is slightly different depending on the things that proc. Uh, yeah, I, I have a really fun time actually DPSing on this class. It has enough buttons to be interesting, but not too many things to track where I have to like stare at my, my action bar. I can actually just like look at the game and the things popping up in the game to figure out what buttons I can hit uh, without having to look down. So yeah, I don't mind taking out some extra guys. I, I kind of started to realize that um, in Felwood that I just enjoyed fighting everything. Because it's easy to fight everything. And uh, we don't have to worry about ourselves as much getting into a bad situation because we're wearing heavy armor, we have lots of tools to get ourselves out of trouble. Uh, and all these other things that are kind of really special about the Paladin class. Got a named guy here that we don't need. Oh hey look, we made it to the top part. And now we jump down. Now we are out of mana. It could be a little bit of an issue. We don't have any mana pots or anything. We have Lay on Hands. That would give us a little bit of mana back. Like Art of War procs that we can't use. Let's go ahead and do Lay on Hands. That'll give us a little bit of mana. Can keep ourselves going a little bit here. And then we'll drink. I, I could be using... Maybe I'll use Judgment of Wisdom. If we want our mana to go a little more. With the free heals we're getting, they're not free, they're instant. Um, from the Art of War procs we don't use for exorcism, I feel like our health is fine. Let's see if using Judgment of Wisdom is going to help us with our mana at all. We're also proccing Replenish like all the time. It's definitely helping our mana, but I am noticing that our health is is dipping. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if I could like swap back and forth between them. Depending on like what we need, what we're fighting. Let's head back outside and see what's going on out there. I feel like we've gotten a lot out of the cave. We need, well, we still need four more, so we might have to be come back in here. Oh, here's one.
Everything up right now is a brute. It's all brutes. Did we just get another pattern of volcanic leggings? Do we have two of these now? Is there something weird going on with like the way the servers are handing out like patterns and greens and stuff? Volcanic leggings, volcanic leggings. We have three of these. It's all the same. Um, yeah, I guess I'll try to put those kinds of things on the auction house, but honestly, if it's dropping three of them, then the auction house is probably already inundated with them. Well, if we can find our way up there, we have our one of our last mages. We got up there once, so we could probably do it again. Although, to be fair, the last time we got up there, it was just like random. Ah, uh, that's still not really taking us up. What about this way? And that's it. We are all done here. We can go ahead and find our way out. As soon as we deal with these guys. I don't know where he's going. It's being very odd. Yeah, I feel like having this out here and being able to alternate between them is... Pretty darn helpful. 
Maybe it's just the crits that I'm benefiting from that boost of uh, mana that we get. Yeah, I feel like we get a pretty significant boost of mana anytime we judge anything. Whether it's judgment of uh, wisdom or judgment of light. Same thing happened there. All right, let's see. Uh, let's let's make some more rounds and see if we can get our brutaling essence before we start in on the black rock orcs. interesting because the range on the item basically requires that you aggro them, but then the only real attack they have is a long cast time. It's an interesting way to do it. Uh, these are for the medallions. We're not going to find any more whelps this way. Let's head back around over here. Oh, I got rid of this molt. Oh, I feel so stupid. I knew the molt was for something. I knew we needed to hang on to the molt. <laughs> I didn't hang on to the molt. Oh, that hurts. Cost us 8,000 XP. Oh, okay. It's, it's going to be fine. We got the mold from the black dragon in, uh, oh, look at this. 
What's that about? Did we not click this guy after using the item on him? We got the mold from the black dragon in, uh... What was that, the burning? The searing gorge. Yeah, we're in the burning steps. And yeah, I had it in my bag for a while, and then eventually I kind of forgot what it was. I thought it was just a flavor item that we had, and in an attempt to clear my futile bag space out, I, uh, I got rid of that item. Because I am a big dummy. Last one here for the broodlings. Let's do our turn in over here really quick. Collect Gortesh's lopped Take off head. Gortesh, where is Gortesh? We need a tablet transcript over here, which I didn't notice. Uh, I don't know where Gortesh is. Oh, he's over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, we could definitely do that. Let's get buffs back up. So yeah, let's head over here to the to the west. We'll work on the medallions. We do need to swing up here and turn in at some point. Doesn't have to be a really big rush for that. Let's head right for Gortesh and try to get that done first and then we can fight whatever we want. I don't think we did this quest last time on the mage. I think we only did a handful of stuff here. We didn't do the orcs. We didn't do Gortesh. Uh, whatever that tablet thing is, we didn't do that either. It's funny. It, it shows all these potential spawn points from mobs that we can get the medallions from. It must be talking about the wargs. Because there aren't any orcs anywhere out that far. It looks like we're just going to be able to walk right up here and go inside. Oh, these guys are level 57. This might be a thing. Why does it feel like my blessings are like ticking down much faster than they should? Am I just going crazy? So we're hitting these guys okay. What I'm noticing is that they're dealing a significant amount of damage to us. What that means is this, that we're going to want to be careful and look at our health between pulls and not pull 10 of these guys. But I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Famous last words, right? I, I think we're going to be fine. Gets killed immediately upon walking into a building. Just deleted. Ah. Uh, yeah? This is not really what I had in mind when I said we were going to be fine. Uh, I'm going to want to move out of that. Not going to be want to take not going to want to be taking that damage. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we just want to get like a traditional heal in? I think we're going to be okay actually. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. Perfect. Now we can heal up. Oh, they're carrying multiple medallions apiece. I wonder if that's been changed since uh, vanilla or TBC. We'll make him come to us just to mess with him. I like to mess with casters when we can be inside buildings fighting them. Because then I can do stuff like this.
Let's go ahead and get a little bit of our mana back. I don't think we're critting as much, so we're not getting that boost of mana back every fight. Oh, that's cool. They have their own little uh, private balcony. How cool is that? These stairs kind of give me motion sickness the way our character jolts up them. It's a little bit jarring. Uh, this guy was not here. The guy that we were going for. Maybe I read the uh, objective markers wrong and we've worked our way to the top of this building for no reason at all. Hmm. Maybe we already completed the quest and I didn't realize it. No, Gorash is lopped off head. Still there in our log. Not completed at all. What did I do? What did I do? I could have swore it. Oh, oh, look at that. I, I just went into the first, like, official looking building I saw. <laughs> I have to run, like, you know, another half a mile in the right direction. It's okay. We're, we're getting medallions. And it was a fun building to clear, so. I don't have any regrets. I don't know about you guys. I don't have any regrets. Just taking out the orc scum. Because they're black rock orcs. We're fine with like the horde orcs. Actually, we're not because it's Wrath. We're kind of working together in Wrath. We work together a little bit in Outland. I guess we could have okay relationships with orcs, just not these ones. These guys are definitely certified jerks. Okay, this is the building. This is the guy. He's a giant ogre. He doesn't go inside buildings. <laughs> Here he is. It was fun to go into that building thinking that there was like something to work towards though. That, that was fun. Uh, this is not the best. I'm gonna try to heal. Oh, we might not get this heal off. Well, we got it off. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. It's a little iffy. A little iffy. We're not really hitting this guy a lot. I'm gonna heal again. Alright, we got it. Got his lopped off head. We're at uh, 23 out of 50 for the medallions. I feel like it'll be okay if we just farm them and, until we're done. And then we will uh, we'll loop around over here to check out the tablet transcript and then turn in up here in the north and see where that gets us.
There's a huge difference between when we fight a level 55 and when we fight a level 56, I'm noticing. Oh, and I'm also noticing that we are done with this quest. So yeah, good times. Pretty sure it never would have happened that quickly in the past. Pretty sure the fact that they dropped many was something that must have been tweaked over time. Alright, so we really... All we need to, I'm wondering, like, what is all this land for? You know, we're not, we haven't gone over there yet. Let's come up here and check out the tablet, get everything turned in, and maybe we'll get something that takes us a little bit farther west in the zone. Uh, it would be nice to see uh, what else is here, although I can't imagine there would be too much more. It does seem like, quest-wise, it's a very small zone. It gives you a lot of quests to go into BRD. Like, that seems to be the main purpose of the questing here, is to give you a bunch of quests that drive you into BRD. Which, uh, had we come here and gotten those quests, we probably would have completed, like, all of them in our epic run. Uh, sadly, that was not the case. Uh, let's see, the symbols on the tablet are carefully transcribed. Okay. That's nice. I guess that's it for that one. Let, let's go up here and uh, see what we have to turn in. I have another favor to ask of you, and my initial study of the essence you collected shows that it might be possible to freeze dragon whelps' eggs and preserve them. I want to test this theory, but first I need specially made engineering components. Okay. In the town of Everlook in Winter Spring. Have a good one. Huh. That's very far from here, don't you know? Uh, the tablet. Do you have the writings of the Seven? We do, I think. You found the tablet, and your transcription is superb. Are you sure you're a paladin, not a scribe? Here you are, here's payment that I promised. Right uh, he doesn't have any other follow-up. Weirdly and unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just going back to, uh, back to town here. A little bit disappointing, I kind of expected all of those to chain more. I expected, well, I guess the dragon whelp one does chain more, but it chains into winter spring, which is only on a different continent. No big deal. 
we were headed that way though, so it's nice to have the quest. It's a breadcrumb we can definitely turn in at some point. Uh, if we want to make our way back over to Fellwood and do that, that is. Um, we are getting a hit here with a couple of bones that are slowing us down. There we go, it looks like another area ahead full of more undead. Just one last thing you must do. I've taken the liberty of putting Gorish's head on a pike. Now all you have to do is take his head to the top of Dreadmall Rock and stick it into the ground. Once you do that, watch as those cowardly ogres run for their lives. There we go. That's what causes them to run. Not just killing him, sticking his head on a pike into the ground. Let's go. I think we know roughly where we want to be to do this. If we're really lucky, the experience from this will get us to level 54, which was my goal for today. If we're not that lucky, then I'm going to grind the experience out on stuff here. So we are going to hit level 54 tonight. That is, uh, is happening. I don't really mind if I have to fight up here a little bit. It's going to be better than chaining a bunch of guys behind us. That was uh, inconvenient, not really where we want to be. Uh, I think we can just get back up there though. Uh, I think I need to be over there. Of misses. There we go. The crits made up for it.
And there we go. We have struck terror into the hearts of the ogres today. Feel like that's a job well done. Outstanding work, simply amazing. Oh, I'll get the Medal of Bravery for this. I mean, you'll be rewarded ha handsomely for this. Yeah, we know how it works, man. See you soon. Guys, we're so close. <laughs> we're gonna go kill, like, two enemies out here. And we will ding at level 54. And that'll make me really happy. Feels good when you set a goal and meet it. There we go. It only took the one enemy. And yeah, we're going to be done here, guys. I'm going to take us back to Stormwind. Have some training to do. And I think we will head back over to Fellwood. Uh, to continue questing there and eventually work our way up into Winter Spring. And look, we only have to get four more levels. So, I mean, it's it feels like it's going to come pretty quickly. I, uh kind of want to get to level 58 by tomorrow night. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play enough to quite make that happen. It's going to happen this weekend. This weekend we're going to go into Outland. We're going to take our first fledgling steps in Outland. And by Sunday night I want to be level 60. That'll give us a whole week to get at least level 68. Hopefully we'll get all the way to level 70. That would be ideal. Kind of hope we can make that happen. I'm going to be doing everything I can to make that happen. And it's thanks to you guys that I get to do this. So I don't say it enough, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate when you guys are here. The comments, the likes. I really do appreciate you guys very, very much. Uh, I live kind of a blessed life because I get to do this. So thank you guys. Uh, let's see, we have lots of ranks of stuff. Exorcism rank 5, yes. So we're going to have to train everything. It's going to hurt, but we have to do it. Blood, uh, Wisdom rank 5, Holy Light 8. Resistance auras. Yeah, that was a pretty big... We're getting our greater blessings. And that's really important to me because Be uh, it's like less time that we have to keep putting our blessings up. But let's go ahead and get our new ranks out. Consecration rank 4, Exorcism 5, I think Flash of Light is up to date, no it wasn't. Greater Blessing of Wisdom, requires a symbol of kings, I'm probably only going to do Greater Blessings, like ever, at all, to be quite honest. So there's that, I'm going to have to get a bunch of reagents obviously. Holy Light rank 8. Uh, let's see, Hammer of Justice rank 4 goes out. Greater Blessing of Might. Hammer of Wrath rank 2, that would be useful. And yeah, I think that has us completely caught up with everything. Can I get reagents from anybody in here? It doesn't look like it, but I'll get some from in town. But yeah, the plan is, guys, to go back to Fellwood, to take that through Winter Spring, and then we'll be going through the Dark Portal before you know it. Thank you guys again. Take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.